just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I am on my way to work. Um, so let me tell you what happened yesterday morning. So I was getting ready for work yesterday, which was Tuesday. And <clears throat> the power went out in my neighborhood. And I immediately, every time this happens, I immediately call SMUD to try to see, you know, make sure that it is in the whole neighborhood and I know my bill is paid so that wasn't an issue so that wasn't on my mind but I just always want to make sure that it is in the whole neighborhood <coughs> I don't know why that's just something that I do so I called SMUD and it was a powder out, power outage that affected like 1500 customers so it's like 630 and I'm like okay I can't see to throw my clothes in a dryer I mean, I can't see. I can't throw my clothes in a dryer. I can't iron my scrubs because you guys know I iron in a dryer. So I couldn't even iron my scrubs. I'm like, okay, I can get in the shower and do all that. But, and I'm thinking, I'm like, can I get out of the garage? And yes, I can get out of the garage. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I grabbed the scrubs that was the least wrinkled and I threw those on. I got ready and I had my son help me to get the garage door open and for some reason it would only open like this much and I'm like what in the world is going on if I call my boss and tell them I can't come because I can't open my garage there's a power out outage they're gonna be like okay you idiot you're lying you just don't want to come into work you pull the red cord and you lift the garage door okay so me and my son we're lifting and lifting and trying using the light on our phone to try to lift the garage completely it's a little warm but it's cloudy outside. It actually rained on Monday, really strange. But anyway, getting off topic, what am I saying? So we're shining the lights on our phones and nothing's blocking. And yes, I do have a window in my garage, but the light was not reflecting enough so I can see. So after a while, I, I did text my boss and I told her that, okay, this is what's going on and yes I know you could pull the red cord but for some reason the garage door is not opening and I will be to work when the power outage is when the power is back on so I had already sent that text and then all of a sudden I don't know something just told me to look up in my garage and there was this board that was wedged like right along a metal piece that was blocking the garage from opening so once we removed that then I was able to open the garage and my son lifted it up and then I was able to go to work so yeah did I let her know that I'm on my way you know this is what happened and so when I got to work she was like I told her what was going on I'm like I don't want you to think I was lying or I wasn't trying to get out of going to work this is what actually happened I know you can open up the garage door you know when you pull the red cord and just lift it up and she was like, yeah, someone in the past before made that excuse and whatever. So anyway, that was that. And what else crazy happened this week? Nothing really. Um, it was on Monday that I was driving to work and I heard like buzzing in the car, like bzz, And I'm like, okay, there's a fly in the car. Maybe it got in the day before. So I look back and I actually seen a bee. So I'm rolling down the windows and I'm praying the bee goes out because for those of you who don't know, um, I am allergic to bee stings. If I, got, if I get stung by a bee, I would actually have to go to the emergency room. And the only reason why I know this is because when I was a little girl, I got stung by a bee and I swelled up so bad, my mom said. I, maybe I was around five or four or something like that. 
and they had to take me to the emergency room. I probably should actually carry an EpiPen for those reasons, um, for that reason, but I don't. And since then, I have never been stung by a bee, knock on wood. I pray that I don't because I would have to go to the emergency room. So every time a bee comes around, I don't panic and swat at it. I just like, oh my goodness, there's a bee. So by it being in my car, I'm like, oh, please go out, please go out. And so I rolled my window down and it kind of got wedged in between the window and the window seal and it wouldn't go out so i rolled the window back up and then it fell down somewhere there was nowhere for me to pull over to try to get out to open the door to let it out or anything like that because yeah that's how afraid of bees i am not afraid but i just don't want to get stung and so then after a while i didn't see it go out but i heard the buzzing stop i'm like okay well maybe it went out but i kept my window down because i'm thinking well what if I just stunned it and it fell on the uh, in the floor of the car? So I'm just driving to work, just praying that the bee don't come up to me angry and upset because it's hurt or whatever. So when I finally got to work, I looked in the back and the bee was nowhere to be found. So I'm assuming it flew out the window at one point when I wasn't looking. So yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> trying to think of anything else to tell you guys because I know I don't vlog every day since I've been um, instructing because I take home homework every night and last night um, I was able just to take home a tiny little folder which was their homework and their um, grade book that way I can mark who did their homework and what they got and stuff like that so yeah that Bible study is at my house this week for the men and the women. Um, Tyreek hosts the men Bible study, so after work, I will be going to the store to get stuff for that. And I might as well get stuff for tomorrow. That way I won't have to go back to the store after work tomorrow. And what else? I'm trying to think of what else to fill you guys in on. Nothing. Um, the job is going well. Um, I told you guys I am still looking and applying for jobs for the state or for Kaiser or for Sutter because I do want something with better benefits and yes this job here has partial 401k and I say that because they don't match you 100% or just their matching with the 401k is not um, like the state or like with Kaiser. So my all-time goal is to get with Kaiser of the state. So either one, I'd be happy. Um, what else? So yeah, if you guys hear me that I'm switching jobs again, don't be surprised. And yeah, you're probably like, oh my goodness, this woman just switches jobs often. Okay, yeah, I get it. But number one, when I went into dental, yeah, I was making a good living and I may have had medical and dental and vision and stuff like that, but when I was in my 20s, I really didn't think about retirement. I didn't, not that I didn't care, but that wasn't something that I was concerned about at the moment. I should have been, but I just wasn't. I was concerned with making a living and providing for my kids and, you know, taking them on trips and I don't know, just stuff like that. So my mind really wasn't on my future. And it's sad to say now that I'm older, that I'm just starting to think about that. And I'm not just starting to think about it. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I'm actually making steps towards that. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I don't wanna work until I have to pass out and I'm old because I have to work and pay bills. I want to be able to retire also. And I know social security won't pay everything. Yeah, I can get that, but it won't pay all my bills. So I need to, have something for myself and so that's what I'm looking for you guys so yeah don't be surprised if one of these days I'm like oh I got a new job and this is my forever job so yep that's just how it's going to be all right I feel like I've been talking forever but I just wanted to catch you guys up on things that have been going on and vlog a little bit because I don't vlog every day anymore well did I ever vlog every day <laughs> So there's an instructor who sits right next to me and no one is in here now. But every time I come in the morning, her time is earlier so she's already here. And she's a nice instructor and everything. I like her. 
but and she teaches dental as well but she'll start talking to me about everything with her students and she'll ask me a million questions and don't get me wrong I don't mind helping or anything like that but sometimes it's like girl I need to do my stuff as well I need to print out my powerpoints for my I say my patients for my students I need to do what I need to do but she consumes my time so much that yeah I have to stay in here a little bit longer after she's gone to do what I need to do and I don't want to just tell her to be quiet and leave me alone because that's not fair you know but it's like ugh. every time I walk in and see her it's like okay here we go hello everyone I am home from work I just finished straightening up the house for Bible study everything is nice and clean again I know you guys didn't see it before but just trust me it's clean um, it wasn't messy it was just I needed to straighten up so a little bit sweaty because I just came home from work I went to the grocery store I'm still in my scrubs and now that everything is taken care of I'm going to go shower and relax until they get here and then I'll go in my room and close the door Cheyenne and Savannah actually went to the movies to see Hustler and Cheyenne has some errands to run so um, it's just Tariq and I that are here right now but of course when the men come over for Bible study I will go in my room and hibernate good morning it's Friday y'all finally yay I am leaving to go to work I'm so happy I cannot wait to get home so that they can be over with and I can just relax finally Friday I'm so happy two and a half more hours and I can leave hello everyone it is Friday I said that this morning I'm on my way home I'm taking a different way home so that's the reason why I could put you guys up here I never take this way home anyway um, what am I saying I am NOT bringing home anything to grade anything their homework yes is due on Monday but we have a field trip on Monday so I actually have nothing nothing to do this weekend at all that deals with my job as far as their schoolwork or anything like that so yeah I'm just gonna go home I'm gonna change probably shower um, I'm not sweaty or anything but I don't know I just feel like I need the shower and then the girls and I we are going to see it the second chapter I think that's what it's called yeah we're gonna do that this is Savannah hi Savannah so she got her first looking for my check today and she's like <laughs> ugly that's not ugly tell her guys she's not ugly anyway she got her first check today and so she's like ooh what am I going to buy what are you gonna buy me she's so funny <laughs> did she just say I'm so funny no really what are you gonna buy me I'm not buying anybody anything but I birth you okay and I love you that's enough Mm. <laughs> so we made it inside the theater and no one's here yet good morning everyone it is saturday it is 8 16 and i am up early you want to know why <laughs> well i don't know if i told you guys but remember the kids that we watched a while back the boy and the little baby girl which she now likes me um the mom told me and maybe she told me to make me feel better i don't know but she's teething and um she's the mom is pregnant again. <laughs> the mom is actually due in November. And the baby has been really clingy towards the mom. And the baby has been doing what she did to me, to her older sister and her grandmother. So I don't know, I guess it makes me feel a little bit better. Anyway, so that family, the mom is pregnant again, like I said, and the baby's not even one. <laughs> and the mom is pregnant again. Um, which is not a big deal. We love their family. Anyway, she has a baby shower today, but she's calling it a baby sprinkle because she's not inviting a lot of people like she did at the shower. And if you guys remember last year, we went to a baby shower. Um, it's for this family. Um, I don't think I showed a lot. So her baby shower today is at 10 o'clock in the morning, which it's early, but it's from 10 to 12. At least we'll do it before it gets hot and then we'll be gone and have the rest of our day so let me just show you what I bought her so these were just a few things that were on her registry and I feel like it's not personable it's like um, just practical stuff which is okay but this is stuff that she had on her registry so this right here for the baby's car seat then just some wipes and diapers and I feel like I didn't get enough 
probably just wait till the baby is born and I get something then because they're not finding out what they are having this time. Um, last time they did the, like a baby reveal and it was a girl. They had a black balloon and then popped it and pink confetti came out. This time they want to be surprised. They have four kids. They, um, a boy, a girl, then a boy, and then a girl. So now this one, they're going to be surprised about what it is. I'm team boy. I just think it's going to be a boy. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be a girl, but I'm still team boy. I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah, I feel that. And I like her. She's a friend of mine, but I feel like I didn't get enough stuff. I didn't get like, I wanted to get clothes and whatever, but okay it's it's whatever we'll see and i just got a plain bag because all the bags that we've seen were either blue or pink and there was a cute yellow one that i seen but it was more for a girl so yeah so that's what we're doing today so just a plain green bag i don't know if it looks blue on the camera but it's green <laughs> He's like, okay. Okay. And just like that, we are back home from the baby sprinkle. So I did put the seat covers, not the seat covers, the chair covers on my chair that I got from Ikea. I will show you guys. I like how it looks. Um, I should have ironed it. Or See, now it's fully white and I am worried about stains and we already have stains on it right here. I tried to get it out. These are pizza stains. Uh, this is what happens when you have people come over to your house for Bible study and yeah so anyway so the chair covers are now fully on and yeah well hello everyone it's like 7 30 or 6 30 in the evening the baby shower came home um, I watched Game of Thrones that tell you guys I started watching Game of Thrones um, yeah, you guys already know I I'm being. Yeah, Savannah got excited. me into it, <laughs> but you didn't totally get me into it because I actually did start watching when it was on HBO. So the way I am, you guys. So I'm not a follower. I mean, when things are trending or everybody's watching it, I'll watch it. But a lot of times I will wait and do it on my own. So I'm doing it, watching it now, even though Game of Thrones is over. Do you guys watch it? Have you guys seen it? Do you like it? No don't tell spoilers. me the ending. Don't no spoilers because I don't know anything that's going on. But I think it's very good so far. I'm on the fourth episode of the first season. So yeah, and Boston's back there eating, and so is Savannah. She's eating Wingstop. That's her dinner tonight. Hello everyone. It is Monday morning. Getting ready for work. Well, I'm already ready. I'm just making my coffee and my to go mug money mornings aren't magical they definitely are not i feel like how tinkerbell looks so today at work um i'm taking them on a field trip to the it's a medical museum and i guess it has dental artifacts in there as well so that's where we're going today um, if you wonder why you're off center, it's because the cabinet is full on this side. So I just put you guys right there. Anyway, um, it's a medical museum downtown, but we are, what did I just say? I'm so tired, you guys. They also have dental artifacts in there, stuff like that. So I don't really want to do it, but I guess it's part of the curriculum. You got to take them on a trip to see something in dental in their first module which I didn't know till like Thursday last week and I was asked oh when is their field trip and I'm like what field trip they didn't even tell me so you guys with this job and I'm not this is not me complaining um I was kind of like thrown in because they need teachers instructors so bad so before I was ready they threw me in I was supposed to shadow six to eight weeks and that wasn't the case I shadowed maybe like two and a half weeks um, before they threw me in with my own class so that's not me complaining that's just me like I didn't get all the information I should have gotten normally if I would have actually shadowed someone the full entire um, time that I needed to so yeah um, I am gonna bring the camera today to take you guys along to um, vlog I think I'm finally finding my pattern at work because this weekend on Friday I did not bring nothing home 
not homework to grade, not the grade book, nothing. I didn't bring one thing home. Their homework is not due until today. And there's there are some few of them who turned their homework in early. They are ahead of the game, which is fine. But I told them, I said, I'm not grading anything this weekend and I'll do it all on Monday night, which is tonight. So yeah, I didn't take anything home. I didn't even think about the job this weekend, um, which was good for me because my mind is usually always on the lesson plan for the next day and stuff like that. So I think I'm finally finding my pattern. Um, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be like that all the time because you know I'm sure there's gonna be some days where I have to continue taking my stuff home, but I didn't, so I'm excited. So with the field trip today, um, by school law, which is, I'm kind of glad about it, but I don't know, they can't ride with me. I have to drive myself there and they have to ride with each other. So there's no, you know how you go on a field trip when you're in high school or whatever, or elementary, everyone jumps on a bus and go. Um, it's not the same with this. Everyone just has to meet there on their own and they have to do a scavenger hunt and then they have to come back to the school and they have to give like, um, not an essay, what's, what's the word I'm thinking? They have to give like a, not write a paper, I don't know, I can't think right now, you guys, I'm so tired still. Um, and I got like, maybe like 10 hours of sleep last night. Anyway, they have to write something, they have to fill out this survey, that's what it is, about um, the place they were going and how they felt their experience was, was or something like that. So yeah, they have to go to school and then after the field trip, they have to go back to school. But from what I heard, I'll find out more from one of the instructors today. Once we get back to the school, they can leave early. That's what I was told. So I'll find out. I'll probably try to stretch it out as long as I can when they're at the museum, let them take their time. Um, but I don't want to be downtown too long because I don't want to pay for parking. So this is the Iron Bung. We're at the Museum of Medical History. This book is from 1924. the Museum of Medical and Dental History. And I was told it, it would take about two to three hours here. That's not the case. So I actually had the students, I'm able to let them go early, but I told them to meet me back at the school at 1230 and then we need they need to sign out and we need to go over some things and then I can let them go early from there, but not early from here. This would only take at the most an hour, uh, maybe 45 minutes. So the reason why I didn't talk a lot when I was in there is because of course they don't know I have a YouTube channel and I actually don't mind my students knowing, but I I don't know, I don't mind them knowing, but I don't want my coworkers to know if that makes any sense at all. And this lighting is not very good. That better? I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I don't mind my students knowing 
which is really weird. I don't know, but I haven't told them anything because of course if they say something, they may say something to other students and then instructors may hear. So I don't know. And it's not like, I told you guys this before, I don't have anything to hide. My life is what it is, what it is, but I don't know. I just don't like people that I know personally and pe especially people at work knowing what I do on a daily basis if they watch the vlogs just to be nosy or whatever so anyway yeah so um, I'm actually going to go eat lunch and then meet them back at the school at 12:30, and then yeah prepare for tomorrow y'all I'm leaving Kaiser It's so quiet out here. There's nobody here. It's so scary. I'm going to take the elevator. last night so sorry I didn't even pull the camera out to vlog and let you guys know what was going on anyway um so let me go back to yesterday so um, actually let me go back a couple years ago maybe three years I don't know anyway for you guys who have been watching us for a while you guys know that I am anemic right oh can you see I got a bruise right there from they took my blood yesterday and she bruised me anyway um so I am anemic so I do take pills every day for my iron pills for anemia right so a normal person's blood count should be like 12 or 13 mine ranges like 10 between 8 and 10 they said and of course eights on the low side they do a blood transfusion when it's dips below seven so last night when they drew, drew my blood um, it was around 10 point whatever so low but not dangerously low so I was at work yesterday and I started feeling lightheaded just not feeling myself um, not feeling like myself and just feeling really weird and it felt like the same feeling that I got when before I found out I was anemic and when I started like having fainting episodes <laughs> or whatever and so I drove myself to the emergency room and they ran a bunch of tests and whatever so to make a long story short i was there for like six hours i went after work i did not leave until maybe like 9 30. anyway it was so busy it was so crazy in the emergency room that's a whole nother story anyway so what the doc i'm still gonna follow up with my regular doctor but what the emergency room doctor said is because in this part maybe tmi on my monthly i bleed heavily so that with me being anemic made my blood levels probably dip a little bit lower and my body felt it and that's how it reacted so yeah that's the reason why I went there but I am fine just got to find a way to that's the reason why I may I may get a hysterectomy you guys um, I need to talk to my gynecologist about that so yeah there may be another surgery in my future so when I was walking back to my car Kaiser that I go to the emergency room there was no places to park over there at all so I kept circling circling I'm like you know what forget it let me just park in the parking structure and then that way I can get me a space and hurry and get in there so I parked on a third level and okay no big deal so when I left to go home you guys seen that clip it was so quiet it was barely anyone there and I had turned the camera off because I was just focused on getting to my car because I seen two guys on a bike and first I wasn't afraid because I'm like oh that's just security I'm like wait a minute that's not security security don't ride on bikes I've seen security ride on bikes in some parking garages but not at Kaiser at Kaiser they are in the little white cars I heard and got in my car and I'm glad I did because I seen them they were like looking in cars and looking around and just looking really suspect looking very suspicious and i'm like you know what 
who knows if they would have seen me what they would have tried to do or I don't know um, so yeah that was a little bit terrifying for me but I did pull out the camera for that little clip so you guys could see I don't know so anyway I'm on my way to work now um, I started not to go in today but I still don't feel all that great but I don't feel sick and plus by this being a new job I don't want to call in so soon but of course if the hospital had kept me last night you know I wouldn't be going to work today but yeah you guys I'm okay mm -hmm. 